All right, what's going on, everybody? Dark and Windy back at it again with another video. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> I know I kept on saying that we'd be back in my wiki at some point, but things kept getting in the way. I just ended up doing sparkle quizzes and speed paints. But we're back in, here in my wiki. And like I said before, we're going to be going down to Generation 2. We already went through Generation 1 and everything and all its issues. <laughs> But yeah, now we're going to Generation 2, which has quite a lot compared to Generation 1. Well, not that many. Now, my Generation 2 has about, if I remember correctly, it has about 211, well, 212. 212 Pokemon. It's the most Pokemon uh, out of any region I have. And I don't know why I did it. I just had a bunch of ideas for this reason at the time. So, I just decided to pack it up, do a lot, and that's all it is to it, honestly. <laughs> so, we're just going to start right here. We're going to go to Limbatar. Now, Limbatar was based on a sugar glider. I just used to, like, the same, it's the same deal as all my other, as all my other ones when I did uh, Generation 1. I just looked up a bunch of random animals and everything, did research, and made, made lists. So for generation two, I started with the sugar glider, and the fire, uh, the fire type starter, Jerzin, just based on the Jersey Devil and Quinjo, just a dragon. I just wanted to do something kind of different. I didn't really follow the trends that much that people thought was going on, like thinking grass starters are all extinct animals, fire starters are all the Chinese zodiac, and water starters are all weapons. I didn't really, I didn't really know much about any of that, so I just did what I wanted to do. And here, Limbatar is based on the Sugar Glider. Yep. It's not really, not really much I can say about it. It's just, it's kind of, it's kind of got the generic body shape that I tended to use a lot when I was younger. Just have everything linked together, nothing really separated much. Just it all just kind of flowed together. I still need to revamp it at some point, but that's that's the deal with for majority of my old ones. Like I said, like I said before. But yeah, Limitar, the grass, the grass starter, not much to say. Targile, yeah, not much changed from it from Limitar to Targile. It's all that really changed, honestly, is that the wings got a bit more to them. Honestly, other than that, not much changed. Like you can tell from here. Like the difference is not really much. Not much at all. Well, I guess the the seed on its tail is sprouting, so that's something I guess. Um, and then we get to the final evolution, Breveth, which again, not much, not much changed. It just got more. It just got even bigger, and now the seed at the end of it is now a flower, which is awkwardly placed. <laughs> and I'm just now noticing that the ear. The ear here is a different color than the rest of it, and I miss this spot. Or, or wait, is that supposed to be, or is that still supposed to be the other eye? See, I don't see. I can't even remember what what the hell is going on, <laughs> because it's just, it was such such a long time ago, and I haven't really gone back to really really look at any of my older mons. I just usually just do it randomly. I haven't touched any of my starters in a long time, <laughs> so yeah, Breveth. It's still a sugar glider. There's, I didn't add anything to it. I just made it a little bit bigger. It has the like the wings don't really make much sense and everything. Like I don't like I made this. Like there there's a lot of features in this design that I've used in other designs. Like the wings here. The the wings here are well you, you'll probably see later on. I think they're in this generation. And this you'll probably see this kind of design trait in a few other designs going forward. Wait a second. Is that supposed to be that? If so, if that's supposed to be another part of this, then yeah, I definitely messed up with the colors. <sighs> Whatever. Next we got Jersen. It's based on the Jersey Devil, the cryptid Pokemon, yeah. So for this one, yeah, it's pretty much basic. Same same kind of problem or deal. Same body shape kind of thing going on where it's just kind of a bean shape. 
and just the head. It's not much to say about it. I just like I got inspiration from the wing from like Zubat and Gobat them. It's not it's not that special or anything. The tail is kind of pathetic. Like I used too dark of a black. It's just it's just got issues. And I don't know why it's got it's got I know know why I did this gesture. I don't. I know that when I revamp, it's not gonna be like that. Bursinge, Bursinge is just awkward. I don't like looking at it now. It just looks very, very awkward. Um, like the the kind of red mahogany kind of color that I use doesn't really fit well with it to me now. Looking at it, like there's just a lot. Like the horns are kind of feel wha wacky I don't, <laughs> look like look at look at the legs look at these legs like yeah there was a lot of problems here but and here look the beard the signature beard that I do, do for a good chunk of my mods mm. and next we have arsenite <sighs> let's see yeah yeah there's a lot of problems here like the color scheme is just really awkward. Now the wings kind of look like they're Charizard, except this is except this this is a a, a a different spike instead of just more flesh, more flesh for the wings. I don't know what these are on the horns. I still don't know what I was doing with the stripes or whatever on its head. I still we just got we just got this from Blaziken, obviously. Young me, we got we got the arm planes from Blaziken, and. The shading on the chest hair is just I tried to do the like do the Hoenn style of art where things were kind of not they weren't as smooth or anything like like they did at Gen 4 onward where that you could obviously see the lines and everything everything was more blended and you could still see some of the shading but it wasn't as concrete I guess I can say it was just weird it was just a really weird time the eyes just awkward. Everything is just awkward here. The the ta the the tail. Like, what, what was I doing? Like, it doesn't even connect well. Why did I have the the white highlight here on the tail of all places? It's just all weird. Let's oh, let's just look at the Pokedex entry. According to folklore, if a person dies, an arsenite will burn the body but leave the soul for its consumption. Ouch, the edge. Oh uh, yeah, six six six. Yes, five foot four, but only six hundred and sixty six point six pounds. Good job, me. Mmm. Wanted to have that edge so bad. And level thirty level thirty eight, what the yeah, yeah, things are gonna have to change when I get back to this. <laughs> Alright, next we have Quindro, just the dragon Pokemon. I don't know in specific what I based it off of, I just know I wanted to do like a dragon. So, yeah, it's just, yeah, I just went literal with a sea dragon type of thing. It's not based on any specific sea dragon, which may change. It's gonna change later on when I revamp or whatever. But, Quindro's, out of the three of them, Quindro probably has the best progression, I'd say. Like, it looks okay enough aside from the, you know, the body, the body kind of, the body problems. Well, not a problem, but the trend that I did. The head, the head looks kind of bigger than I remember. The, I, could, I now see that the ears are uneven. Um, yeah, things are kind of weird here. Well, not entirely weird. It's all, it's decent at least. Uh, ah, yes, when I shaded the eye, cause I saw some some of the official artwork had the eye shaded too. Mm. And like, I have no extra line here to show that it's actually the chin and everything. <sighs> the fingers are weird too. Like, the shading here, like what the... Ugh, looking back at this close up is just plain painful. Their fairy tales are said to be a symbol of peace and if they are droopy or oily, it is a sign that Quindro has been injured. Okay, so it's a this is a, a a sea fur dragon, I guess. 
I'd have to look some stuff up if I want to keep that, but we'll see. Next we have Draquatic. Uh, uh, I don't even know what to say. Like, what is this? The tail looks, what the, what is, what is this? The whiskers look awkward. Like, what? What 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 is going on up here? This looks so flat. It looks so flat. Like no, the shading. I didn't even do the sh extra shading to go underneath it. It just looks like a sticker that was stuck on or something. It's so weird, and the legs are so thick and everything. It's so the the head looks like it's on backwards now. It's everything just looks awkward here. Ugh, God. Uh, let's see. Using this crest and whiskers, it is able to read water currents and know when the water has been tainted. And eh, good enough, I guess. Not much special. Oh, oh, what do you know? Level 18 and 36. Hmm. Regular evolutions. Unlike arsenite, which is level fucking 38 for some reason. <sighs> wait, wait, hold on. What the? Is Japanese name Umikansu? I put, it's because Umi and watcher why did i why watcher well i guess because it watches over the sea to see if its water's tainted and stuff but it just feels weird whatever what why did i give it unburden what uh, uh, moving on teratagon okay out of the three of them i guess teratagon is probably the yeah like i said the best progression um, it actually looks kind of different enough and isn't as bad. Uh, well, not, not, no, now that I'm looking at it, like, what is this? It looks like it's going on the side and not actually on the tail. Um, I don't know what's going on with the legs. At least it, uh, it looks kind of better now since, uh, since it's not a straight line and actually curved and everything. Still no shite. It's still no, like, there's highlights, but still no shading on it. Like, and the fins, like, the, the whiskers, there's there's three on this side, but uh, you can only see one over here. It's kind of weird. Um, eh. And the, again, the, the legs, like, what the, what is, what is this? What, what, what? What is this? What is this? Why? It, and I missed and I missed some blue pixels down there. Why? Uh, uh we're gonna move on. Oh wait, no. But first let's let's read this deck entry too. Its whiskers and fins are able to detect when a tsunami or massive rainstorm is about to occur. It is highly recognized for having civilians that are plagued by said disasters. Okay, so he's a superhero kind of deal, I guess. Just still a literal sea dragon. Nope. Yep, sea savior. You're pretty much a deep. You're pretty much Aquaman, but a dragon. Next, Martimed. Now, finally, something that I can be proud of, because I recently, I actually recently re revamped these guys. Martimed and Martel. Yep. All right. So Martimed was originally just. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see, let's go to Martimed. Yep, there's different iterations. We got this one, this one, and we're gonna go back. All right, so Martimed's first iteration, yeah, I had a lot of problems. Like, well, like the colored lines weren't, weren't needed. Like, I know that some official art has the colored lines and everything, but it it kind of varies depending on the type of Pokemon it is. Like I don't know why why I did the separation for the back legs. Like this like I'm I'm <sighs> these legs like they seem like they're okay, but something about them seems off. Uh, again with the thick the thick bean shape for the body, the tail looks awkward. Like it's not even or anything like that it's just weird but this was in 2014 2015 so it's all right that for the time this was in 2017 i think <sighs> now this one looks better but i still don't entirely vibe with it as much it's it's oh it's fine but 
it's not how I want it to be. I, ch I changed some things, obviously. I think the tail is a bit more even. Um, it's standing on its hind legs now, I guess. The deep blue eyes. Like, a lot of stuff was... A lot of stuff from the previous iteration was changed. It's, it's just... It's kind of hard to say anything about it because... Like, like I got rid of the, some most of the colored lines, like except for like this one and this one, which were kind of like those, those little edges that they taper off and color so that you act like you can't see them or whatever. But yeah, it's like wait, wait, oh my god, I didn't, I didn't do anything for the black, and oh the, yeah, the, this is the time where uh, I, I was still using GIMP for the transparency and it cut off the. It cut off edges and made it look janky, but still the black here, the black I didn't completely do the black, and then I used a different model, I did a different brush. I didn't use the spread brush. I used the noise brush. You can tell the different the difference. Uh, now, now current Martin made looks a lot better for me, because I actually based it off a specific Martin. It is now based off of the Japanese Martin. I'll go ahead and show you guys this. The Japanese Martin. You can tell this is stuff, but you can tell it's got a, a lighter face and a dark and a kind of darker body and uh, even darker front legs and everything. So with that in mind, I went ahead and just redid Martin Mid so that it's actually cuter and looks better for me at least. I made sure that everything just felt right got some got like made it a lot simpler not not so many markings or anything but yeah let's see a very agile pokemon martin mid is able to run quickly in order to escape his enemies if approached they will shake it readily out of fright and release heat yep and that and that the release the shake it readily and release heat ties into its evolution i gave it rattle than run away and heat proof is his hidden ability for some reason I still didn't change that. <laughs> All right, Marto is the flame Pokemon now, and if we go to it, I mean, if we go to its previous iterations, you can already see the vast difference. You can already see the vast difference. Like, what is this? It looked like the same body was going on. You got like this is literally Limbatar's body. Yeah, you can tell the same head kind of thing, the beam shaped body, the legs and everything. Everything just looks awkward. It, it just looks weird. And then we got Marto 2.0, which was in 2017, which I you can tell I took a lot of inspiration from me and Xiao's design because of the sleekness, how the whiskers are, the pose in general and everything. It's just... Yeah, this is a bit. This is definitely worse. This is definitely a bad one, honestly. If I'm if I'm being honest, and the pattern and everything just feels so forced. I did the fucking colored lines again, made it kind of awkward. It just looks. It just looks so. Uh. And Mar now current Marto looks a lot better. It has as actual in a actual aesthetic going on. It has an attitude. It's set. It's sassy now. It's got it's got actual character to it now. It's got a sassy attitude. It has all the wisps and everything to go along with this design because a Japanese Martin, if you go down, the legend some legends say that let's see, where is it? Ah, here it is. It says that if one kills a Martin, one is soon to encounter a fire. And it also goes that where is it? In the, in the depiction, several Martins have gathered together above a ladder and created a column of fire. And one fear about them was that if Martins that have gathered together in this form appear next to a house, the house would catch on fire. And that ties into its fire typing and why it has this aesthetic. Because it is, essentially turns into a yokai, as you can see right here. And in the collection of yokai depictions, they were depicted under the title Itachi or Ten. And ten are weasels that have reached several years of age and become yokai. So in this case, it became a yokai fire, 
And because yokai are usually kind of ghostly creatures or just weird creatures in general, I have used the wisps to actually show that a bit more, give it a bit more character and everything. It can the Pokedex entry. It can emit flames from its hands by clenching its fists, and doesn't, it often doesn't care much for battling, but will do so for a trainer that it respects. If, if, and this is a reference to the actual story. If multiple martyr are in the same vicinity for a long period of time, it means the air are playing in something. They are often the cause of small forest fires. So yeah, I wanted to actually tie things more in, more together compared to this and compared to this and this, which were kind of generic. Didn't really have much going on for them at all. They were just same bean shape. This is just same bean shaped body and Mian Xiao body. This looks a lot better for me just because it, I just feel the the better aesthetic and everything going forward. So yeah, that's Marta Men and Marto. I re like I said, I recently redid them, so I've had more time to like actually consider stuff and like do do more research in order to make sure that they're better than they used to be. So yeah, I'm proud of these two. Next up, we have Earthar. I don't know what the hell I was doing with Earthar, honestly. I don't like Earthar and its evolution were mines that. I didn't know what I was going to do with them because they were just, I just made them. Like, well, I didn't make them. Like, I knew I wanted a ground type to be early on and I wanted it to be a kind of dinosaur, but I didn't know exactly how to do it. So, but but this is the end result. And, uh, Apparently, I based it off of a sigil mess, a sigil massasaurus. Like, like, like I said, I haven't touched these. I haven't touched majority of these old designs in a long, long time, so I don't really know. Uh, and usually, when it came to certain designs and everything, it, that would be just random and stuff. I would just end up looking stuff up. And seeing what was similar and just claiming that that's what that's what it was based off of. Like if I just made something random that looked reptilian or something like that, I would look for reptiles that looked like it and say, Yep, it's based off of this. It was just a weird time. But yeah. For the Hold on, wait, wait a second. Hold on. Aren't I think these are the second iterations. Hold on. Let me let me check. Yep. This is the second iteration. This was this this one. This one was from 2014, 2015. So it's always been like this. But I but when I did the revamp, that's when I decided to base it off of something specific. Okay. Okay. Alright, so well, that's the story of Earth though. I like I didn't really know what I was gonna do with it. But this is the end result. I knew I wanted to, it to be like a ground type and I wanted it to be a dinosaur when it came to something early on for this for this region. Um, and yeah, it's just basic ground dinosaur. Next, its evolution is Terrar. Now, as you can see here, Terrar has a lot more in common with the Sigil Massasaurus compared to Earthar because you can tell that I actually took inspiration from it this time. Yep. And let's do this first iteration. Oh my god. Yep, I remember this now. I definitely remember this. <sighs> I literally just had Earthar stand up better and had the hump thing on its back. It looked so damn awkward and looked so weird. Like, this arm was so it looks so short and and this one this one was so thick and this one was so thin i i i did colors on its nails or whatever for some reason its face with it, that that fucking forehead though like the the spiky mohawk is like what what are these symbols on its legs why are its feet like that it's just so many questions that i don't know the answer to and i made the damn thing so I have to say, yeah, the second iteration is definitely better, but I know that I'll have to 
revamp it again at some point whenever I get to it. But yeah, the Earth and Terra are kind of mods that I'd probably forget, honestly, just because of their story. Because I know I just wanted a ground type and I wanted a dinosaur, so I just made something. I didn't know what I was making, but then once that once they came out and I decided to do research or whatever, I made I, I did some more research, did the re, did the first revamp, and never talk, thought about them again. So yeah, this is it for them. I have to revamp them and make them better again. Let's see. That Pokedex entry. Let's see if this does anything. They cause massive earthquakes by driving their legs into the ground and vibrating them. I mean, I guess. And they live buried deep on the ground. Okay, never. Okay, let's just move on. Flammable. Now, I remember Flammable from a long, long time ago, from like middle school days. I knew I wanted to just do a, like, different fruit. Like, this is this was one of the mods that I did on paper a long time ago before I even started, actually started the project, I think, if I remember correctly. But I'm not, I can't really be sure. But let's see. It's pretty much just flaming fruit. Like, I just wanted to do fruit that was on fire and they evolved into each other. It was weird. The flames that erupt from Flammable's body resemble leaves, fooling many people that encounter them. Their bodies are hollow, but can still pack an explosive charge when these Pokemon are startled. Yep, these guys are just fruit bombs and stuff like that. I don't know why I didn't do cherry a cherry bomb to go along with these guys, but yeah, that was that's just me being stupid at that age. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do a cherry bomb, but we'll we'll probably I don't know. Flat, but yeah, flammable is just like a golden apple that looks like. That that's 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 pretty much combined with dynamite and explosive and stuff. Yeah. Peach are yeah, same deal. It's pretty much just a peach with flames. With green flames because, you know, grass type <laughs> and a tail because stem. Uh yeah, I can't really say much else about it. It's just like the th this line, I like this line. But at the same time, I can admit that it's pretty much just basic and not pretty special. Like Pyrare is just, okay, it's a pair with green flames that looks like leaves. Woohoo, not much special. So, yeah, they're just, explo they're just exploding fruit. Can't really say much with it. Next up, we got Hisano. It's ba if, I'm, if I remember it correctly, it's based on a... Well, it's like a snake fly thing. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. It's based off of, yeah, a snake fly. And apparently, I said it resembles the larva of a elephant mod. See, okay. So I'll say this as well. When it comes to the design origin stuff for them, from our older design stuff like that, some of them have like questioning, questioning wording. Like, it also shares some characteristics with this because I wanted to do, like, the actual Bulbapedia stuff because they were saying it may be like this. It also does this. Like, like I know exactly what they're based off of for the most part, but I just did that as well just because that's what they were doing. So, yeah. Let's see. So, Hisano is based on the snake fly. I based it off of, like, a rattlesnake thing. So, it's pretty much a caterpillar, but it has a snake aesthetic. Got the rattle, well, yeah, got the rattle, got the snake-like face, the, the things right here and everything, yeah. Uh, moving on to this goon. I don't know what the fuck this goon is. Like, I said it was gonna be based on, like, a doll kind of thing. Like, the rattle on its tail grew big, had, had, it has a face on it now, and it just, when you look forward at it, it just has this head body and lower body kind of deal going on but yeah it's the it's this is the disguise pokemon apparently and i just don't know what the hell i was doing it's what it just looks so based on a little snake fly still apparently hawk moth shit also small smiley face emoticon also based on old dolls like what what and this goon, this guy's cocoon, like, no, I, this, this is nothing like a cocoon, so, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to redo this at some point, cause oof, and Heavy Rash, now, I remember a long time ago where I didn't know where I got this name Heavy Rash from, 
So, but I remember, but then later on down the line, I remembered that Hebi was the Japanese word for snake. I didn't know where the rash part came in, so I just, I think I did with crash or something. Yeah, I combined it with crash. I just said it was crash. I didn't know where the rash part, I didn't remember where the rash part came from, but I just said crash, whatever. So, let's see, the collar wing Pokemon. Because, yeah, snake, because, uh, yes, reasons, I don't know. But it looks okay. It just needs it just needs to be better. And it, I don't think it looks anything like an actual snake fly. Hold on. Snake fly. But it's okay if it doesn't look exactly like a snake fly. Well, snake flies look, actually look a lot cooler cuz it I can do I can do stuff with it. Yeah, I'm going to have to revamp you at some point cuz this looks this looks interesting. See, see, this is, this is, yeah, this was definitely a big problem for when I was younger. I would just take, I would, like I said before, I think I've said this before in my generation one, when I was going through it, I would take, I would take, do research, but then I would just take the name of it and interpret it. I wouldn't really, I would use references, but I, at the same time, I usually wouldn't. I would just take the name and just interpret it in a way that I do it and then just make, call it a day. So yeah, Hippy Rash is based on a snake fly, but yet it looks nothing like a snake fly. And that that's probably okay since a lot of Pokemon that are based on certain things don't look exactly like the thing they're based off of. They're just a different interpretation of it. But yeah. Yeah, Hippy Rash, mm, it's okay, but I need to I would need to redo it. Alright, Terespo. It's based on a Tarsier. Yeah. And mm, the f one of the first dust stones, I think. I don't remember entirely. <laughs> Let's see. These Pokemon are born on the sticks they float on. I don't know how that works, but yes. <laughs> oh my God! Now I'm thinking about it. It just comes out of it just comes out of an egg with a with holding this floating on the stick. Mm. Their yellow eyes are said to enable them to sense anything that will happen in the past, present, or future, as well as give them mystical powers. That that we that's weird. Like their yellow eyes enable them to sense anything that will happen, but their yellow eyes also give them mystical powers. Like so, their eyes give them power. What? <sighs> yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's weird. But yeah, Ter Terrespo is one of the ones that it looks okay. It looks decent. It just needs a bit, a bit of a touch up, and some probably some better colors and stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty much just a Tarsier wizard kind of deal. Not much. Espaltar, same deal, Tarsier Wizard. It looks it looks a lot better. It looks a lot better, but it's too dark. Like, I know with official Pokemon design, they don't really use black blacks unless they're in the ant they're using it for anime. But when it comes to the official art, they usually use like gray, like kind of semi dark grays to kind of do it. Hold on, as an example, let me go to Dark Rai. Like, okay, so they say Dark Rai is the pitch black Pokemon. Yet, its official art is not pitch black. It's that's that that is obviously like a gray. So they don't like its eye. Its eye rings are more are darker than its body. So yeah, when it comes to like blacks and stuff like that, I need to lighten it up because I learned a lot when it comes to looking at this official art, the official art, and this like it's a this is an okay it's an okay design. I just need to like lighten up the lighten up the black color and maybe change the like I could I could see the blue tint and everything just but overall Terespo and Espaltar are, are all right they just need a bit of a touch up their eyes are more are more powerful and allow them to see into anybody's past or future according to old folktale and Espaltar is able to destroy a, a person's past causing them to vanish into thin air Okay, so this is some beat some B E M type shit where it it can erase your memory or something like that. I just remember like warp your memory or something like that. All right then. So, okay, moving on. All right, Ruffies, another one that I've revamped in the past. Well, within within the past few years, I've revamped and it's it's okay. All right, so Ruffies is based on a Quetzal. Um, it's pretty much not, not. I can't really say much. Like it's, it looks like it's got a little hoodie jacket jacket going on. Its main body is blue. Like everything's normal about it. It just has like a, 
like extra feathers that look like it's have it has a jacket and a hoodie on. Is it, I really like it. The hue of his feathers vary depending on his location, and the beautiful feathers they share that can be collected and used for many articles of clothing. Yeah. So yeah, Rough Feats is okay. It's just based on a cat soul and stuff. They're a splendid cat soul to be precise, I guess. Yeah, you, you you can tell the Yeah, you could you can tell. You could tell. Alright, next up we got Ketzuf. It's evolution. Same deal. Pretty much still looks like well, now that the now it looks more like it's actually combined with his body. It's not looking like just a jacket anymore, it's actually with his body. And I actually like Ketzuf the most, I guess, out of this line, just because I, I like how I did the shading and everything for it. It, it it's, it's kind of different compared to how I do it currently since it, this was like a year. Hold on, let me see. If I'm being truthful, this was, yeah, this was, la this was like early last year. And oh my god. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, compared to, yeah, I'm just, I just, I just. Yeah, com this compared to this, yeah, mm, I definitely like this one better. Like, th just looking back is always just so awkward, just so awkward, because <sighs> I just see all my flaws in high in 4K, and it it just it just hurts. It just hurts to look at. <laughs> All right, next we got Feathers, the Feathers Pokemon. Now Feathers is kind of basic, like most of the color of it is gone because it's grown up and all that. Like it's it's okay, it's okay. Male feathers have longer feathers, which they use to perform dances to attract females. Ah, oh, yeah, ribbon dancing, right, right. And as it matures, its hood life feathers molt and turn a darker color. May yeah, okay, okay. I can I I can see it now. I can see it. Oh wait, ribbon tail to strap you. Hold on, let me see. Ah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I see it now. Yeah, I see what I was. I see what I was doing now. See, I can't. I can't always remember, but yeah, I see what I was doing. Yeah, that's. I can see where I got the the front part of that from. Like this, the green part, because because of the blue that's around his face and stuff. I can see it. All right. Next up, we're probably gonna do just two more. Hold on, let's let me see. Check out time. Oh yeah, we we'll probably just gonna have time for like two more, and then I'll and then we'll probably do the rest at a later date. Well, let's see. We got fragrance. This is pretty much a, a perfume skunk. Like fragrance and aroma are just perfume skunks. So I just made the. I just I just remember. I I remember making this in like when I was in still in middle school or high school. Like I remember trying to make it like as girly or whatever as possible like have it have like sass and all that so like the original the original fragrance the original fragrance I remember was always standing on its front legs yeah it looks awkward 20, back in like 2014 2015 or whatever this is the original it looks really really bad awkward like I always had it on its hind legs like I always did this with the, with the feet that like always had the gap and stuff like that it was just weird but yeah everything looks weird and awkward same deal like same face syndrome the bean shape the tail looks uneven same problems but now this looks it looks a little bit better like the tail still needs work but other than that i can say i can say that i like this this fragrance better it, it is able to give up a multitude of odors that can be either pleasant or repugnant. They stand on their arms and spray the air with the street odor when they're happy. See, I, it, no, it no longer does that, so I'll have to update it, the picture, and the dex entry when it comes to it. Alright, fairy poison. Next, aroma. Kind of the same deal. I wanted to, I wanted, like I said before, I wanted it to be, to be sassy. I wanted it to be like, like perfume. Perfume is always for like, when when people want to go out and all this other stuff, make themselves cute and not sexy stuff like that. So when it came, so when it came to aroma, I just wanted to like have some sass to it, I guess, like show 
its cuteness and stuff, I guess. It's weird. I don't know, let me look at the original. Yeah, the original was the same way, honestly. The original was pretty much the same. I just pretty much changed the colors and made the art made the like artwork better. But yeah, this is a raw monk. It's a, it's it looks okay. It looks okay. It looks a bit a lot different than Fragrance, honestly, since it go it went from a, like a kind of unique thing to back to my body stuff when it the, the bean and the face and everything. And it, let's see, it has a hair, a fairly arrogant attitude and it will now listen to its trainer, its trainer unless it accepts its stench. Their waist generally smells like so it's often collected and transformed into the most of the, some of the best perfume. Yep, yeah, this is the ambergris situation. Like when your perfume used to be made out of whale vomit. Now, now in this, in my universe, perfume is made out of aroma, aroma waste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much a skunk in a perfume bottle since I said down there. But yeah, it looks okay. Like I just, like you'll probably like as 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 I continue to go through generation 2, which will take a which will probably take a while. You'll probably hear me say a lot about and complain a lot about how I used to just continue to do the, some of the same things over and over again like the body shapes and everything like that and how they look similar to other official Pokemon despite like my goal being to have this be like completely all my own stuff without them having connections to official Pokemon at all so yeah this is this is probably gonna be it for now we'll probably stop at a roll monk and we'll continue with the Vovo next next time but for now this is gonna be it <laughs> We, we've gone way over the limit at 40 minutes. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Dark and Windy out.